Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Game and welcome back to another slow motion car crash video. We'll be watching the upcoming car crash in slow motion and real time from three different angles. So, the first angle will be from the external view that you're seeing right now. The second angle will be the driver's perspective, this right here, which is very nice to look at. And lastly, the last angle will be from the top view, which is probably the most interesting view to see any car crash. You can really see how far the cars move up the impact. But anyway, first up will be the external view of the car crash. Which happens about now. So we'll switch to 16 times slower than regular speed and we'll restart time and observe. It's so a quite an even car crash would suggest that both cars are around the same weight. Well, actually no. Our car is a bit lighter since we're going that fast. So that's what it shows. So let's speed up a bit, that's the bumper flying off and not too much damage to the internals of the car like with a driver would be, but still pretty significant damage. Then the wagon we hit gets forced up there in the bushes and we just slowly roll down this road until we come to a stop. Next stop, let's watch the same angle but in real time. So unpause and enjoy. Yikes. All that happened in just under 5 seconds. Now for a second angle, the driver's perspective in slow motion. So you saw the crumpling of the bonnet in slow motion, which is a feature of modern cars to absorb the impact particularly. Let's see the front windshield is broken. The left glass doesn't appear to be up, wasn't up in the first place. So yeah, that's all the glass damage to the car, at least to our car. The rear view mirror is bent, don't know how that isn't broken. We're slightly sideways, but if you're the driver in this car, I think you'd survive. Funny, a car crash going at 150 kilometers an hour and you survive that. Perhaps that wagon too as well. But anyway, now let's watch that same car crash in real time speed just about to avoid that red wagon now for our third and last angle the top view of the car crash in slow motion of course so just before impact i'll pause 16 times slower than regular speed and impact. You saw the crumpling effect perfectly from this angle. The cars, both cars crumple and just absorb the impact. Our car was moving so fast this way, so we pushed the car back where he came from. And look at how close we were to hitting the red wagon. Mere inches. And lastly, let's watch the car crash from the top view in real time speed. So thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments down below and I'll try my very best to do them. Once again, thank you for watching and bye for now.